What's up everybody? Welcome to Shapeshift Studio B. I'm Alex Kemp and for today's studio quick tip we're going to be showing you our custom LED panels and how to use them. Okay so these are our LED light panels and they're basically a thin LED panel that is flexible and we have a softbox that is built around them as you can see with diffusion cloth that Velcro's in and this frame in the back. So in most cases, um, unless you're doing a specialty kind of a shot, maybe you have a car um, and you need to get lighting in the car, um, you could remove the frame and everything and kind of tape it up to a ceiling in the car. Um, it's really awesome, very flexible like that. For, but for the most part, you're not gonna wanna remove the uh, X bracket frame on the back of this or the soft box um, because it can be a bit of a trick to get back together. So I'm going to plug this in really quick. Okay. Before turning it on, we'll go over the bracket back here. So um, one big thing is we store them with these hanging like this, but you're going to want to remove it from the light stand. What you don't want to do is bring this all the way up with this controller hanging from it and then have it drop on you and break. Um, so we'll, we'll bring this down here for now. Um, on this bracket here, you've got the light stand mount, right? So we've got a thumb screw here. Um, and then you've also got this top one that is connected to a ball head here. Um, so this ball head allows you to move, twist, tilt, whatever. Um, for this. What you don't want to do is use the actual thumb screw back here. That, that is for the frame only and it keeps the frame from um, slipping out from the back of this. So um, we'll put this on here. You could also mount this this way if you wanted to. Um, gives you a little bit more distance away from the stand. And then um, we've got the ball head here I've loosened and I'll just rotate this this way just a little bit so you guys can see when we turn it on. Next, um, again you're going to plug this controller in. There's a battery pack back here um, and this will actually accept V-mount lithium ion batteries too um, for those of you that are familiar. But for now we just mount the AC battery pack to it. Um, you can always remove it by pushing that little thumb catch here. And that way you have more length on this, okay? But for now, we're just gonna leave it on here. Um, to turn it on, you push the switch on the side, and we're gonna have a screen here, and there's a couple of dials. The first one's gonna be for color temperature. Um, so we can change this to a very cool color temperature, um, which goes all the way to 6,500, or you can go very warm, all the way down to 2700. The main thing is, and right now my main light here for this video is daylight balance, so it's about 5600 uh, Kelvin on the uh, color temperature. You don't want to mix uh, two light colors um, in your image unless you're doing it intentionally, let's say uh, for a edge light on your subject. Um, so we'll balance this out with uh, my main light, which is about 5,600, 5,500. Okay, so just like that. So now we're about the same color temperature. Now, the other dial is to control brightness. So you can go from 10%, 15, 20, all the way up to 100%. And they get very, very bright. Okay, so that is the basics on um, our LED panels. They're very good for if you're doing portraits, you can set one up like this, another one up like this, right? And then shoot between them. Um, they're also great for video.